So, hi there everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my Project Hospital Let's Play series. My name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you. And if you didn't catch the first one, I advise going to have a look at that. Um, but we're carrying on pretty much exactly where we left off because I've literally just finished recording the first one and I'm recording all of these in advance as the beta is potentially due to end very soon. So, yeah. So, if you remember in the first episode, we've built up the, hosp the initial doctor's rooms. Um, we've started earning money. We've now treated two patients, as you can see in the bottom bottom of the screen. And we've got oh, we've revealed some new perks. He's a people person. I noticed also Sarah Cole, also a people person as well. We know we've done the insurance ones. So just clear all them in the bottom right corner of the screen. So you can hear the buzzer. So we're now up to again. We'll keep working through. So again, we've got to clear ten, and we'll get some cash rewards for these. So the next thing I want to get set up is the staff room. So I'm just going to go into build mode a second. Here we go. So again, in this room, what we need to do is make sure they can rest. So I want to put a coffee table in to start with. Put that there. We'll put a TV on it. Now because of that, we can now put a sofa in for them to relax. I'll put another sofa in this corner as well. We're going to put a fridge up in this corner. Um, cabinet like that with a kitchen sink in there. We'll give them a dining table. Actually, I put it on this wall. Of course, with some chairs around it. Oh, you pain. There we go. Uh, we need. I put this bit. Of, actually, no. What would you put? Some lockers. there and we'll put a couple of bookcases in as well so it's not a big staff room because of course the main staff this is just a a chill out area for this for this group of staff so let's come out of there because again money's low so we need to build up some money and we'll also speed it up a bit I mean, all the doctors are busy at the moment. And I don't expect to be called for any of these ones, really, because unless they get something really complicated, then I'd expect um, them to uh, be able to handle it. And we shouldn't get anything overly complex this time, but yep, you can see the money's going up quite nicely. Because the next bit we'll do is the janitor's room because we want to make sure we've got a janitor even though he'll probably go home straight away as soon as we employ him so yeah let's jump back to here we'll go to here next so the, the most essential piece of equipment we need here is the cleaning cart because without the cleaning cart they won't actually do anything so we'll put that in but of course we want it to look like a hospital room so it's just a cleaning, it's a cleaning store, so we'll put some racking across there, we'll put an industrial type sink there, you can have some kind of like bins in this corner, um, we'll give them a wall mounted cupboard above, oh no, will they let us do one above their sink? No. We'll do we need to give them anything else? Now that'll do. So, back into that. Get some more money built up again. Actually, before I do that, we need to hire a janitor. So, they're all not expensive, so I want to get the best one we can. Just one of these two here. 
Um, oh, we'll go for Mary. She's top of the list. So there we go. As I said, yep, yeah, she'll go straight home. That's because at the moment the hospital's not actually dirty enough, and also the fact that they've started part way through the shift. But, ah, uh, we're not going to worry. One of the things I know that they've said they've turned down in the first version of this came out, they used to, the hospital used to get dirty very quickly. They supposedly turned that down. You just have footprints everywhere. But we're now up to seven patients treated. And again, money's building back up again. So that's what we need. We've got to build it up. Which means presume that we've got one more room here to do before um, we do our. Because the next bit we'll have to do is an ex we'll have to add um, a piece of building on up here. And that's, and that's what we do. It's going to be it's, it's going to be expanding as as each bit new bit of the hospital needs. Um, this is going to be more for when this bit corridor here will probably be for when we expand. Um, in general. So once we start needing a lot more departments, things like casualty and all that. But for like so some of the, the treat the the treatment there we go. Ten thousand grant. Right, so I'm gonna go back to normal speed a second. Because I wanna before I expand actually no, I've still got it. So that if you look at the insurance things, they give rewards. So we wait until we once we get to twenty, we'll get a twenty thousand grant, get to fifteen, we'll get a stats lab, and that's what I want next. That's where we've got to do a big expansion. So we're not quite ready for that. We're not far off. We've done 10. But we need to do this bit. So this is the reception area. So the first thing we need, of course, is a reception desk. Um, is it that one? Yeah. We'll put this there. No. Why is it come through the wall? Does that one come through the wall? Let me just put the walls up a second. No, it doesn't. That's okay. Right, we need the middle. A nice, you know, you know, when you walk into any hospital, it's got a nice big reception desk. So, there's ours. We'll put an office chair, we're just going to put one receptionist on duty at the moment. Needs a PC, they need a paper holder, a printer. Um, we'll do our usual of. That change the color of it. I'll change the colors of the the cabinet. So we'll do that there. Gonna put a big card file unit in the middle, and then with these ones there. What I'm also gonna do is build a wall. So that the basically the receptions. I hope that will work. I said I've not tried it this way before. Is there anything else we need to put in there? Um, D D D D. Benches and chairs. They can wait in there. I will put a bench here though if I can. Right, and then of course what we need is a member of staff. Looking for reception, it's got level one and level two. Better patient care. Right, let's go for that. And there we go, so that's our receptionist. I know he just goes for a break. <laughs> oh dear, starts working, goes for a break straight away. 
so again you can see how it all expands and this they say the next bit we're looking for is well, actually we want to change the walls in those rooms let's do that walls that one and it was that one there we go that looks better that ones are all looking right so yeah that looks better and looks more more proper more proper <laughs> bad English but yeah as I said I've been loving this game it's just so much fun to play actually let's drop the walls so we can actually see more we're up to 11 patients we'll speed it up again she goes back from her break be interesting to see how many she does go because in the first version she was going five six seven times a day she just never was on the stool but you can see it glitches it gives you all the time so the, cl the clinics open from um, eight till six so we're only at three o'clock on the first day day shift seven till eight so yeah it's get it's it's a long old they, they can i mean i think i you, know, you get most i haven't done it much further past this myself um i've got to the point the next couple of it unlocks i've done but as i said i don't i don't want to over test them for when i play them for you guys because i want it to be as much you know when you see them it's the first time as i see it but i want of course this one is quite intricate complex because i mean around the same sort of type of course you've got um two point hospital which has been coming out as well which is probably more of the um, fun aspect of the hospital thing, but I just think this is just one is beautiful and it's also really, really clever. Right, here's the next bit. So we've got the stats lab. So we'll just put on. We'll just leave it on play at the moment um, because we're going to jump over here. Actually, no, we're going to jump to here. No, there. Close that. So the next thing we want is the stats lab. And the stat lab has got to be a minimum of four by four. That's rubbish because it needs a bigger space than that. So what we're going to do here is we need foundation. Is I'm going to come down to here because of the corridor. How big is that? I make it ten by ten. Yeah, no, ten by nine. There we go. Right, that's that. Uh, let's knock up the walls quickly. No, for some reason that's wrong. Foundation. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, it's because of the. Um, it always does this kind of like concrete bit around the edge. Right, so that. And we also now want to remove some walls. So that's those. We need to put. Corridor. And then we put the stat lab. Now of course because it's a lab we want it to make it a fairly clean environment so we'll have um we'll have a we'll have we'll go for this one here. So it's still gone with the doctor's colour scheme, but it's got a tiled walls because it's a lab. And we need um yellow half 
equals white on the bottom, yellow on the top. That one. Actually, hang on a second. I'm going to check. Is it that one? No. Full window. I'm sure there was an option for glass. Aluminium panels white. Oh well, no, we'll just stick to our theme. So that's that. And of course, we need a door. And we'll put a glass door on it. There we go. Right. Drop the walls. So, in this room. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look at price. I'm actually going to build up a little bit of money before we expand that, do that one. Because it's quite an expensive kit in there. And there's quite a lot of kit we need. So, let's get up to the next grant. We're at 15. What time are we at? Well, we might not make it in the first day. But again, it's one of those things you've got to keep. Ah, here we go. Right. So, no clear diagnostic. So we go to. And the doctor's got his 52% chance of tennis elbow, 48% chance of golfer's elbow. Now, the best way they'd say is x-ray or upper lat, yeah, or an MRI, which we don't have at the moment. We can either do observation, but we can't admit it, but we haven't got a ward. Or we can treat with analgesics. So we'll just go for analgesics. Um simple as that, close that, hit play, so you'll basically treat her with the medication um, and it seems to be it's like kind of those one of the things we, until we get the next level of equipment actually one thing we do need I've just realized is a floor we're going to give it the same color floor as that one so slightly different it's as if they got a different man they got their supplies from a different manufacturer oh, I've just gone down the corridor um, and it's that one there we go because you got to watch if you look there's two and it's again it depends which way you want the wood to go As I say, that's how detailed you can get into this game, is in deciding which way the wooden panelling goes. Well, reception is the way to the bathroom. So it's kind of like The Sims, is that you've got the, the, the speech bubbles. Oh, here we go, we've got another one. Um, oh, she's not happy with the treatment. Um... Here we go, we've got more about it. She's an insurance customer.
There's nothing we can really dig. It's just one of those... Because we haven't got... We haven't got... I'm going to treat it with tennis elbow. Oh, there we go. I just forgot to click that one. Yeah, you got to tell the same which treatment you're, you're treating for. You can't just give them the medication because, of course, they'll go like that. We'll tell them it's tennis elbow and they'll give them some more treatments. That should hopefully deal with that one. But we're up to 17. There's no one waiting. Doctor's got... This doctor's got no one. This doctor's got no one. So, yeah, let's speed it up. Oh well. Going home. So that's that one. And as you can see, what they'll do is normal, the, the clinic is just going to wind itself down. You'll find staff going to the staff room. And the lap then jumped over there. Using the vending machine. And so they go into the staff room. There you go. Doctor's gone into the staff. But let's speed it up and get through this bit. Because what they'll do is they'll all go home soon anyway. You see it getting darker. So at eight o'clock they'll all disappear, and you can get you can get all sorts of different traits with the staff. So some of them, if they've got a long journey, to it'll say, oh, they travel from a long distance. They're going to be quite often be late. So of course it's the knock-on effect, um, which is which is I think is a fun part of the game. So we're just gonna get them through the night now, and you can join me again in the morning. Okay, so I've come back a little bit before the, the shift starts for a couple of two reasons. One, as you can see here, it says about a night shift. So, of course, you could staff it so it had you know, doctors all night as well. But we're treating this like a, a day clinic at the moment, or in the UK, UK we'd call it a GP office. Another thing as well is, I want to get this set up. Even though we don't have much money, I said the money doesn't come into it at the moment. I want it up and running so that we can see it being working properly. So... Let's do that. Go there. I'll come off of that. that. So in the equipment here, we need quite a lot of stuff. So the first thing we're going to put in place is um, some desks. So we need um, so I'm just trying to see if I can find them. Oh, there we go. Lab. Oh, these are lab desks. So we're going to need some of these anyway. So we'll put I'm going to put three across the back of there, and we need to put um, hematology, uh, hematology analyzer. We need oh, we need to put the medical centrifuge in. Uh, we need a microscope. Um, oh, a lab sink. I'm going next to the centrifuge. Some lab shelving. Sample storage. that we'll put some scrub storage in as well filing cabinet biohazard trash bin so again there's still bits here we need 
lab analyzer we don't well these are kind of bits you'd add over time but stool analyzer thermal cycler RIA I think that's all the equipment anyway apart from all the office stuff and we need to put put another lab desk I'll put that on that one right we need a desk but it's not in there at the moment so we'll go for furniture um, office desk we'll use the different coloured one in this one because we haven't used this one yet oh can't put it there because it blocks the, we'll move, can we move this as that there we go office chair we put in two office desks back here we'll click the room PC printer paper holder that's everything there and again we can eventually we can add other things in so we could put an equipment cabinet it's on wheels but we're not going to put anything like this again we've got a nice clean room but of course the one thing we need as well and you can see that's cost us quite a lot of money to do that so we need staff we need a technologist um, I'm going to get someone good because I'm only going to put one in there at the moment. Actually, no, will we put two? I need a master scientist. We're just going to grab, we'll just grab a, a junior scientist at the moment. There we go, we've got reward. So we've got radiology available to us now, but we won't add that just yet because I think we've stretched the, the budget. Wait a minute, I want him on day shift. There we go. So let's go back to here. So again, it's now given us the objective of opening the radiology clinic. And again, it adds expense because we've got to build another extension we should probably put radiology over here but we've got to add all sorts of stuff for radiology because if we go um, to there so again just so you see we've got to have a waiting room restroom all this sort of stuff again you know x-ray room it's yeah see medium valuable so yeah we need to get the next level of grants before anything happens but let's speed the time up and get it into daytime because the staff should be arriving soon let's see because we can get that that'll get us 20,000 um, I think that's the next one yeah 20,000 government up grant can't afford to send See, that's yeah that's an insured one so we need to keep the building this one up because at the moment it's our, f our f source of major income each of these cheap okay ones unlocks another thing and then we've got this one here eventually so we have to work up to, to so to unlock that one we need the general surgery department here we go staff arriving let's go down to the next speed level yeah he's gone straight in the staff don't blame him he worked part of the night and then in here the following day So, we're on to day shift, and of course, if it was a normal thing, there'd be if we had a ward, there'd be doctors' rounds. But of course, they don't have that one. 
Here we go, patients arriving. And our janitor as well, cleaning the place up. I love the way the, 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 the cart just beams itself to whatever room they're in. Oh, where's our... Oh, he's in the bathroom. I thought he disappeared home. He's got a nice big off, big room to himself at the moment. But you'll start getting requests for more tests and things like that. Here we go. Diagnosing the patient proved to be difficult to the doctor's diagnosis. Like you can help him by selecting the next examination. So we'll go to. So... Um, we can either do a physical or Michael. So we'll do. So this one it tells us that um, Arthur also called tinea pedis is highly contagious skin infection. So antifungal cream or antifungal ointment. Uh, discomfort low. Um, what will we go for? Now oh, we've got a sample lab. We'll sit. We'll do. Might as well do that. So here we go. Take the sample. And he goes back to the waiting room. And then he goes to get his results. Okay, what we got here. Right, so. Um, this person has got a few different ones. We'll tell them to take a temperature because, of course, if they've got flu, they're going to raise temperature. Can we ask them to do another one? Oh yeah, we can ask them to do a couple of things. So, we'll get them to do those ones. It's like the, the cleaners in here while the doing these, doing the whole exams. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have another one there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are being done. Oh, so we've just got diagnosis level two. Waiting room's filling up. But that's good to see. It shows that the hospital is busy. I mean, technically, we've probably got enough space for another. We've probably got enough custom for another doctor. But at the moment, we just don't have the funds until we can start getting this this government grant in.
money's coming up slowly. Oh, here we go. What we got? Dermatitis, athlete's foot, or cholangitis. He's got itching. Um, let's do a physical examination. Um, some sampling as well. It just means we might get some better results. I said I love this game, it's just so thought out, so detailed. Bacterial tonsillitis or viral tonsillitis. So let's listen. Let's do. Uh, chest listening. Um, Ah, da 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 da. Yeah, let's do that one. Yep, let's see how that goes. Actually, how's this one doing? That's that one. So, I think that was dealt with. That one's dealt with. That one's dealt with. That one's dealt with, so it's just this one. Oh, is he again? Calls for the results. Oh, what is going on? Oh, tennis elbow, golf. Oh, right, okay. Right, tennis elbow. And that. Oh, they keep me busy today. Right, you've still not got anything. Send for that and that. Awesome. 
Oh, he's happy. And waiting room is full. And it's gone through most of the day and we've only treated nine all day. Love it, the fact it's raining now as well. And we're up to ten. Not really made that much money today, that's the thing. Hopefully as we clear some of these other patients, we might actually start breaking even. Now we definitely need to probably have to think about adding another doctor's office. As I said, we'll just love the fact that the patient has to go and get the test results themselves. It's not just sent to the doctor. I mean, they definitely get worked hard on this surgery. How are we doing? 13 patients treated. It's 5 o'clock and the clinic's about to close. And look at this, it's still full. 14 treated. We just need some straightforward patients. I think at six o'clock these guys all get up and go. Yep. That didn't go well. We lost eight patients. Do we do we do a night shift? I don't know. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to call it a day there. I'm going to work out this and we'll um, get it all sorted out in the next episode. But if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't already done so. Leave your comments below. Of course, check out the link and add it to your wish list ready for when it comes out on October 30th. But until the next episode, bye bye for now.